In this video, I'm gonna share my favorite Canva AI tools for real estate agents. Let's go. Okay, my favorite AI tool right now for Canva is Magic Media. And I'm gonna share with you one awesome thing that you can do right now to create some really cool graphics that you can use for Instagram, social media, TikTok, wherever you're spending time. Okay, let's dig in. If you have not yet checked out Magic Media, you can go to canva.com forward slash AI dash image dash generator. It's gonna give you a whole tutorial. It's gonna give you lots of examples. And it's gonna let you play around with it and it'll let you add it to your dashboard so you can check it out. So I've got here a blank template on my screen here. Um, when I'm designing, a lot of times I will just start with a blank square, an Instagram size square, because guess what? This looks great on Facebook. It looks great on Instagram, LinkedIn, wherever you are posting. Now, by the way, my dashboard here on Canva might look a little bit different than your dashboard. Canva just rolled out a huge update. So if it looks slightly different, don't worry. I'm sure an update is coming to your Canva sometime soon, but it's all good. You're going to get a lot of, out of this video. Okay. On the left-hand side, I'm going to scroll all the way down to magic media. Now I have this already on my dashboard. Again, if you don't have this on your dashboard, you're going to want to go to that link. I just shared in the very beginning, get that added to your dashboard and you'll be able to use magic media. So I click on magic media and it's going to pull up this thing on the left-hand side. So first it's going to ask me, what do I want to create? This is where I think big opportunity for real estate. So you want to think about your local market. Where do you live? What's your metro area? So let's say you are a realtor in New York city. So we're going to put in New York city and we want to give a place and we want to give kind of a time of day. So I love sunset. I'm going to put at sunset and you could even take it a step further. If you like kind of a watercolor design or you wanted something like comic book style, um, I love pop art. So I'm going to put pop art. So now I've got a location. I've got uh, kind of time of day. So sunset, sunrise, and I've got a style. The style part is optional, but we're going to add that in because I think that is fun. Okay. So also, by the way, you can see it has the aspect ratio. So I can do this for or square, which I've already um, set up. You can also do this horizontally. You could also do this vertically for a reel. So we're going to keep it square for right now. I'm going to click generate image. And this is where it's going to take anywhere between a, you know, a couple seconds to a minute or so. What's going to happen is it's going to give us a few options you can see it's already generated one. It's going to gener generate a couple more. And if I like the ones that it has created, great. I'm going to use those. If I don't like those, then I can always uh, regenerate images. These are all AI created. Remember, all we did is gave, give a simple prompt. Okay, so I'm going to look at these really quick. At first glance, I and you can see but down here, there's the generate again. So if I didn't like those, I could generate them again. I'm going to click this one because I think at first glance, it looks pretty darn awesome. So I'm going to just pop it up here. I'm going to make it larger. This by itself is pretty cool. So if I was a real estate agent, I could take this. Now I've got a unique piece of art that I could write something on. So if you've got, maybe you've got a new listing, maybe you have something that you want to share about your you know, local area, whatever it might be, you could add some text over here. You could make this your own. You could add your logo. And now you've got an easy piece of content you can download and share. Uh, this is, I think, a really cool thing. You could even create a whole series if you liked this style and maybe you're doing a series where every Tuesday you're sharing a tip about moving to New York or why you love New York or, the, or tips for relocating. Now you have five, 10, 12, however many graphics you want to create and they're all in the similar style and you can add a little bit of text over the screen. Again, add your logo, download it and you're good to go. If you are someone in a city or community area, this I find works really, really well. It doesn't just have to be for community content, but specifically because you know, real estate's local. I love this. So the other thing that you can do with this magic media is you can scroll over either any of these and there's three little dots. If you're looking at the left hand side of your screen, there's three little dots and you can click generate more like this. So if you really like this style, you can generate more like that one style. You can also click generate video. So I'm going to click generate video. Now this one takes a little bit longer. So uh, as it says, grab your popcorn, a new video is inspired by your scene. It's going to be generated. It should be ready in one to two minutes. So it does take a second, but it is worth it because you guys know I'm always all, all about repurposing content. If you're already creating a bunch of graphics and you're using magic media to create some unique, really fun, eye catching, stop the scroll content, why not also repurpose them into reels? So if you've got, let's say you've created five or 10 graphics that you're going to share once a week where you're sharing a tip or something helpful about your local community, you're, you're talking about, you know, the, the coolest places to uh, watch fire fireworks, the coolest places to go see, uh, you know, fall holidays, whatever it might be. And you've created some graphics through AI, you've got some great content. 
you can also repurpose all of those graphics into videos. And you may not share the video and the graphic the same week, but maybe you share the graphic one day and then you share the video, you know, the following week or a couple weeks later. It is a really cool way, again, to repurpose, repackage, work smarter, not harder, as we always talk about. And by the way, speaking of repurposing, I have a whole video on repurposing. So if you need some assistance in that, we did a whole video on our YouTube channel. I will drop that uh, in the link below so you can check that out. Okay, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to actually create a second page right here and I'm going to drop the video over here and let's pull it over here so you guys can see this and I'm going to drag it to make it a little bit bigger. We're going to hit play. Now there's no music on this, but just check this out. Dun, 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 dun. Pretty cool, right? Really, really cool. So again, it's like the sky is moving, the water's moving. Love that. And I could keep that as is. I actually love that you can resize this. So I am going to, I'm going to actually get, click up here to resize and we're going to go down to Instagram reel and I'm going to resize this particular video. I'm actually going to resize just the second one because I don't need the graphic resize. I just want the video resized. So let's hit copy um, and it's going to open in a second window. And by the way, just a quick bonus tip. You guys will notice at the top, it keeps saying unt untitled design. Always title your designs. If you're new to Canva, always title your design. So I'm just gonna put NYC pop art um, one. All right, so if I was creating 10, I probably would number them, but that's just me. So I've got that graphic there. And then number two is my reel. So I'm gonna put here NYC pop art and I'm gonna put reel. So I remember it's a reel. Now, you can see it just resized it as a square. I'm actually going to click and drag this to make this bigger because I want to make this a little bit bigger like that. Right. And now I can add some text. So if I wanted to add, maybe I just wanted to add some really simple text. Let's click that. And we're going to make this bigger like that. And we'll type in the words NYC like that. And maybe we just want to have something really simple like NYC real estate or NYC, whatever it might be. We could just kind of keep it simple like that. I'm going to go like this and we could also copy that like that. And we could put it back over here as well. All right. So if we wanted to, and I'm going to delete the video. And so now I've got two cool pieces of content. And of course I could kind of play around with the text if I wanted to hit that effects button, if I wanted to kind of make that text pop a little bit like that. If I wanted to, again, add some additional text, I could put something else on there, but that's, you know, pretty cool. We got a really simple graphic, again, all generated through AI. There wasn't a template, not that I don't love templates, templates are awesome, but again, all AI generated. So that's magic media. Again, we've got graphics, we've got the video. So now I've got this one piece of content and now I've also got the second one as well. And I'm gonna delete the second page. I could even, if I wanted to, probably even repeat the process. Like if I wanted to, like this is just five seconds, which is awesome. But if I wanted to just copy and paste this, I could delete that text, add some additional text and make a, um, you know, a longer reel if I want to. But honestly, that is pretty cool. From here, I would go up, I would click the share button on the right hand side. I'm going to download that and you would download that as an MP4. Honestly, I probably would just open up the Canva mobile app on my phone. I would download this on my phone. Uh, upload it to Instagram or Facebook or TikTok, find some great music, find some New York City music. And now you've got a great piece of content. Now the key of course is writing a good caption. So your captions where you're gonna put that helpful tip, you're gonna maybe drive people to your email list or whatever it might be, whatever your call to action is. But again, the whole point here is it's simple, it's easy, it's quick, and it's all done through Magic Media. So there you go, we've got a couple quick posts. Again, check out Magic Media. Would love to know in the comments below, have you used Magic Media? Let me know yes or no. And I would love to see what you guys create. So if you do this, especially over on Instagram or Facebook or TikTok or wherever you're at, tag me because I would absolutely love to see your creations. Okay, if this has been helpful, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell button because we have new videos that come out each and every week. And if you are excited about Canva and you wanna take your Canva to the next level, make sure you join us for Canva Camp. Canva Camp is back. Go to katielance.com slash Canva Camp. It's where we go deep and do all things Canva for real estate. I can't wait to see you there. Okay, bye for now.